Well, the Bonaparte's connection to the Maccabee site is, is one where we were learning more also of what was there in the past, the, the artifacts, the, um, the fossils. We need to know where our people were and where they came from. It's important for people to know um, the indigenous way of life, I think, because there has to be a better understanding both with the non-native and the native cultures to, to come as one. I think that it's important for people to know where we come from and why we do the things that we do and to accept them into our culture and also to accept their cultures as well. So my name is Elise McClellan and I work for the Provincial Heritage Branch and I'm talking today about Maccabee which is one of our Provincial Heritage sites in the Kamloops Cache Creek region uh, and Maccabee is was designated by the province because of the significant fossil beds that are there. One of the really significant things about the Maccabee fossil beds is the really excellent level of preservation that you see especially for softer body parts. So the way that Maccabee was deposited, it's uh, a lake bed and you get these fine silty deposits burying the soft parts of plants, insects and fish. So one of the great aspects of Maccabee for researchers is that they can see, uh, they can see the, the skeletal remains but also the soft body remains of the animals, which lets you identify species, which is really useful. And it also lets you look at change over time in those softer body parts that you don't always see in the fossil record. This is an opportunity for those that are visiting the region to have a look at all those different sectors. And so it's not just coming to see the fossils, it's coming to see, to be more aware of the um, indigenous cultures and, and what is happening in our region and how we celebrate those kind of things. Hi, my name is Charlene William and I'm on band council for the Bonaparte Indian Band. Um, we're here today in the Shequequemec territory. We're really, really excited about our involvement with this site and we really would like to have our cultural and traditional as a, as a big part of it. We've been here on this land for thousands of years as Shequequemec people and we're really proud of that and we're proud of our history and our heritage and we would really like to have that included in the building of the site. Our vision for the site is to have you know, an interpretation center, the components of it to be traditional and uh, included in everything that's going to be built on the site. We look at identifying sites and we work with communities at managing and at protecting some of the sites and that's what happened at Maccabee. What's exciting is that we have a model that's community-led type model and we're working with the community and the uh, indigenous people to determine what should happen at the site, how should it be managed. And so a vision was developed with the community to uh, find out what do we want to see at the site, what's significant, how do we preserve it, how do we provide access to the public. So we are doing just that right now. There's uh, stories attached to this site based on our transformers from our indigenous uh, traditions and how it's significant to our people here in our territory. The landscape is connected to us by the place of where we're developed, where we're grown. And you look around us, you see nothing but sagebrush and pines and trees. So again, we adapted to what our, our land had to offer us, and that's how we have grown to who we are today. We're very fortunate that uh, fossil sites have been identified and, and found in this area uh, over the last you know, few decades. And when we look at what we have to gain from this site, it definitely gives us a storyline to be put our, our, his, our story and our history beside it. When a tourist comes, they're going to be introduced to two Bonaparte community guides uh, and they're going to go through the process of learning what the, uh, the history of the fossil site, but also learn the history of who our people are from this area, which is basically an authentic piece of who we are. And again, it's the, the five senses that we use and that we definitely want them to understand who we are and especially experience some of our taste or feel or touch when you walk our lands. This is what we're all about. This land is, has been within the Bonaparte a traditional area for the longest while and it's important that we also know where we came from, what we did in years past and we need to share that information and keep that information alive. If you have that information and you're willing to share it, it will never go away and that's really important to us is that our story always be told.